Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Chum Chat. It's your boy, Johan Gomez, back with my co-host, Tanner Tessman, back for another episode of Chum Chat, like I said. And uh, first of all, we just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I want to quickly apologize. I think both of us want to quickly apologize for last week's episode. Uh, you know, we hope we didn't put any money on our picks because, man, you would be broke right now. But um, we're proud to say Portland's still in it. So we're rooting for Portland to get to the final so we can at least have one of two of our picks in the MLS Cup final. But if y'all didn't check out that episode, go back last week and check that out. Um, I think it was, a, it was a good episode, but now you know, not necessarily to trust the chums always in what they say. Uh, the chum chat lesson didn't work out this time, but maybe next year. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank you guys because we hit 600 followers on Instagram and 400 subs, which is a big goal of ours. Now we're on to 700 and let's hit 500 before the end of the year, if possible. Um, but yeah, before we get into it, we want to thank our editor, Anthony. Shout out him. Go show him love. Uh, the new look now on YouTube. If you guys are listening, make sure a lot of these new episodes have good visuals. So you're going to want to tune into that as well. And uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And before we get into it, we've got to run an ad. And as you guys know, it's always presented by BET Online. So make sure to go on your new mobile desktop. Go to BET Online to get a 50% off welcome bonus. B-L-E-A-V-50 is your uh, promo code to get your 50% off welcome bonus courtesy of the chumps so uh let's get into, sure. into it recap of the week 10 big day for the boy i thought it was his first start i apologize yeah most people no yeah yeah. Wait, yeah 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 I, 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 I don't know why everybody thought it was my first start like I, on twitter after there was like a bunch of people saying like you know it's first start or whatever and i was like no nah, it really wasn't it really wasn't uh started versus genoa uh a couple of weeks back before the international break but uh, no, it was a good experience. Um, well, we played Inter Milan um, the game before on the on the weekend, and uh, it was a tough team. Um, you know, they're a top team. And then we went away to Atalanta, and man, they're another top team. So it was tough. But I got to start in the game and played ninety minutes. It was it was a tough game. I mean, they're a really really good team. I mean, Champions League team. So. It's tough to play against, but it was a good experience for all of us. Uh, we all grew from it. Um, we worked hard, and and it showed. And now we're on to the next game. We play uh, Sunday at home versus Verona, another good team. Uh, gonna have to show out. So, but we're re we're really looking for some points there. But uh, but nah, you're a week, my guy. Two oh, big before we get, goals, before we get to my week, though. Before we get into my week, though, I'm proud of you, bro. I just want to say that first of all, I'm so proud of you. But you're gonna have to forgive me. So I was getting interviewed while you were playing, and. Um, and so I mentioned to you in the interview, I was like, because he asked, he was like, um, how close are you with your boys? And then obviously I had to plug the chum chest. So I was like, you know, I'm close with them. I had just gotten off the phone with Thomas that day. And then um, I was like, obviously, Tanner's my best friend, my co-host. And I was like, I and he was like, do you keep up with them? And I was like, obviously, I keep up with them. He's starting right now. I think it's his first start in CDI. So just if that comes out, I say that in an article, just know that that was a mistake on my part. But yeah, no. I'm always tuning into you. But uh, for the inter game, I actually um, I saw this one clip where you cut it. You cut a guy kind of nice, but you skied it. Yeah. But hey, hey, so you're still showing you got the quality. Yeah, definitely to roll with the best. So that's good. But next time we want that top bins for sure. Yeah, I'm saying, bro. Next but, time, bro, are bins. you playing as a six or like more forward? Because I've seen you getting forward like more lately. But I don't know because in the lineup on the app yeah. that I have, shout out Flash Mob. Great app. Um, if you guys want to keep up to date with scores and stuff, flash score, flash score. Sorry, it shows that you're more of a of a six, but I'm not sure if that's accurate. Yeah. So like when I the when I subbed in versus inner, I was playing like a more attacking mid, but uh, I don't know. We were losing the game, so I was getting forward. But um, versus uh, Atalanta, I started as like an eight, I guess. Kind of. We play like a different. We don't play like a traditional four three three. But, uh, yeah, I play, like, more as an eight recently. But throughout the game, like, versus Atalanta, I played six for, like, 20 minutes. And then I went back to eight. So I, I play both with the team. But just depends what the lineup is, really. We have a lot of options, so. That's good. So, what, but this was your first 90 or no? No, I played 90 versus Geno as well. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, I get into my week before we get review the FIFA cards. Quick week, actually. I play tomorrow. 
I play tomorrow again, and we play on Monday, so yeah, it's barely enough That's time tough. to to get the to get the legs back again. But you know, as you may have seen, um, two two draw away, which isn't great, but we played in a like a super, what's it called, super, what's the word, historical stadium, like World Cup finals and everything in there, Olympia Stadium in Munich. Um, so it was a big honor, and then obviously a brace, first career brace ever, uh, professional ranks. Um, Two 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 draw. Well, we lost. We tied our own goal at the end. Can you believe that? I yeah, bro. Subbed out, and uh, a bit unfortunate, but hey, good week. I just started playing striker again, so I think I've I've told you I've struggled with like playing eight at Porto, and even here I first came. That's part of the reason I came here because they said I would play striker, but then they're like, "Oh, you're too good on the ball to play striker. Like maybe you should play eight or 10. And I was like, "Uh." And so that was like the first seven games, like I was playing 10 or eight, bro. It was, uh, and then last seven games, I started playing like up top in a 4-4-2 and uh, started scoring. Thank you. So I think that's that's where I belong. So hopefully we can keep that up. We need to win this Friday tomorrow. So if you guys have nothing better to do, make sure to tune in. Uh, just not necessarily watch, but follow along um, as we seek the three points. But um, sure. yeah, I think uh, we're about to review our FIFA cards. Speaking of FIFA, I think we both deserve some informed cards because Tanner's stepping up. I'm stepping up now. FIFA, what's good? EA, what's good? Come on, we need some informed Thanks. cards. But um, shout out the website I'm going to use. I think one of my friends here showed it to me. So FIFA, I think it has all the all the uh, stats and everything that you need. I'm going to share my screen right now. While you're going to share your screen, for the people listening online and for the viewers watching, we gotta we can't skip over the chum chat blessing with our guy Walker Zimmerman. MLS Defender of the Year, back-to-back. I mean, it's got to be the Chum Chat bus. It doesn't have to be. It has to be. It has to be. Because we interviewed him before he won the first one, right? Yes. It absolutely has to be. Crazy. Tanner Teston, what a guy. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Wow. I don't know what any of these numbers mean, but all right. What this means? Yeah, 63 over already. Okay, it's like similar to last year. Yeah. I think. Yeah. What would you have last year? Do you know? I don't I don't remember. All I remember is having a five-star weak foot. So you do have a five-star weak foot. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. That's actually so rare in the game. Yo, five star actually, weak this, foot. I want to say it. this. I want to say this real quick because some people have been getting like uh I've been like saying that they play with me or play with Tan or something. I love that. I honestly love that. It's my first year in the game. It's Tan's second year in the game, I think, right? So yeah. I love it. If you guys are using me, send me videos of you scoring with me. Send us videos of you scoring with Tanner. I mean, I personally love it. It makes my day. So, um, yeah, but anyways, take take Swick out of the Champions League. Take Vanessa out of the Champions League. Whatever y'all want to do, but uh, have some fun with it. But five-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. What are you thinking about that? I think you're a little better than that. I think I am a little better than that, but I'm not like a – I'm more like a – if if it was a – a skillful player. I'm more like a messy where I don't do a bunch of like skills, whereas like Ronaldo does a bunch of skills. You know what I mean? I'm more like a simple, just cut, you know? So I True. guess, I guess it's kind of fair. True. True. Work rate, medium. What are you, what are you saying? Nah, about come that, on. Man? Come on, FIFA. <laughs> come on, bro. I ran the most in the last game versus Atalanta in the whole game. So come on. Did come you on. actually? Yeah. How much are you running? How much are you running? I want to know. I think that game was like 12,000 kilometers. 12,000 kilometers. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So come on, FIFA, come on. That's quite a bit. Do you get, do you, did you feel tired or was it like, nah, you felt straight? Um, There's like points in the game where you feel tired, but like at the end, I was like, I was, I was straight. Okay, let's get, let's get, let's get into the. The deep, deep part of it. Goalkeeping, obviously, oh. you know, I think you're a little bit better in, in goal. I personally think I'm, you are. I've seen you I'm goal. honestly way better in goal. <laughs> That's, wow. I mean, FIFA obviously ain't seen that. I haven't played goalkeeper in a professional level, but come on, bro. <laughs> bro they goal, should know that you're, a, you're an athlete, bro. You, you play basketball, play some, uh, I'm an athlete, you play football. Bro, I don't on. even remember. Obviously, you did yeah. play football, but you, uh, you were a kicker. But I mean, obviously, you're an athlete in general. You could have been a tight end, so. Come on, yeah. Facts. The handling needs to be a little bit better than a six. That's 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 poor for me. Oh, why is why is handling low? Like my f- hands are good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's my strong point, you know. I don't know. The strongest point according to FIFA is your strength. What do you say about that? I mean, you're a strong man. I mean, 
I guess I am a strong guy, but uh, I wouldn't say that's my best attribute. Like if somebody asked me, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm super strong. But I mean, I am at. EA, I really need EA to be watching this right now because this is important. 53 shot power? Yeah, that's a joke. Like, come bro, on. If you line up my shot with like Ronaldo's, bro, I swear it'd be like the same when we hit it. It'd be you know the same or stronger, bro. You shoot, shoot crazy. Bro, I'm just yeah, waiting for the banger. I'm waiting for the banger. It's coming, people. It's coming because I don't know. He scored like, especially U19 year, you were snap or U17 or U19, you were snapping. You were scoring like several bangers. Facts. Several Facts. bangers. So uh, we need to A. Wow. But who has who has more of a like a because John Luca has a pretty good shot too. But who would you say out of the U2 has a has a stronger shot, you'd say? A stronger shot for me, for sure, me. But uh he's got a good shot um with his right foot. So uh oh you're saying he has pretty, a weak foot. I mean <laughs> from from range, I don't think he could get it to the goal. But he's more of like a finesse kind of guy, right? You're more yeah, of like yeah, that. like yeah, he's he's like yeah, he's like a nice uh good accuracy, better accuracy. Good shot, good shot, top tier. Mental so mentality. It's it's, it's crazy how they grade these things, you know. I mean, I think they got mentality, mentality in FIFA. Aggression, interceptions, man? positioning, positioning and vision is pretty good, to be honest. Composure, but penalties. I don't think they were – they must have not been watching the semifinal back in, in the Irvine because, I mean, 41 penalties. Yeah, that's facts. It's poor, you know. And I am. I had a really good PK versus Portland Timbers. Facts. Come on, FIFA. I slaughtered what, that what one. Else, no, I, what I, else, I don't what take... else here do you, uh, do you notice that's kind of like, mm. Well, I'm just looking at, like you said, strength is good, but stamina. They put my work rate at medium, but they put my stamina high. Like, come on, FIFA, that don't make any sense. Um. <laughs> I mean, skill, crossing, crossing's 53. I have a better cross than that, but I play in the middle, so I, I guess I don't get on the crosses a lot. Um, your long looking pretty solid, 70. though. 70, is, is, that's one of your strengths for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. So it's not bad. 70 is definitely not bad. Not bad. Ball control, pretty decent. Dribbling, pretty decent for my card rating. They, they actually kind of nice me on the acceleration. A lot of people would put my acceleration lower and my sprint speed higher because, like, once I get going, I'm faster. But they kind of nice me on the acceleration, not going to lie. Agility for a big guy, that's pretty good, I'd say. Bit, how tall – bro, how, my dad constantly asks me, how tall are you? 6'3". 6'3". Yeah, so it's pretty good. Balance, how, reaction. How are you related to the, to the players on your team, like, height-wise? Man, we actually got some tall players, like uh, – our whole team pretty much is around like six one, and then obviously we have like guys like Busio and um, some of our attacking players are smaller. But man, our defense is pretty. I mean, we got some tall dudes. Like compared to other teams, like especially like teams I played against when we went to Mexico and stuff. Like we got some tall dudes for real. Yeah. Yeah. So like when we be taking like the average, or you're still on the on the taller end. I'd say like for my position, for sure on the tallest, but like on the whole team there's like a lot of dudes that like stand equal to me and then all of our goalkeepers are like super tall so if you don't count the four goalies we have then we got like a few center backs one or two forwards and that, i mean they're pretty pretty good high but we don't got nobody that's like super small except for like i mean i guess you say busio is like the smallest busio. on the whole team i don't want to be disrespectful i don't know how tall he actually is but uh i think he's like i'd say he's like five seven or five five seven or five eight that's not too maybe he's like, like five ten i don't know but but he i think he's like five eight to be honest if he's five ten then you disrespected me because i'm five ten so nah he's definitely shorter than you he's like five eight he's got to be like five eight five seven might be a stretch five eight sorry sorry boost shout out john luca so what else what else before we before we move on what else kind of like do you think could be well, better is worse I see for I, I I agree with FIFA. FIFA, my aggression is is my lowest stat if you don't count goalkeeping. So I definitely I think my aggression is higher than that, but I could definitely improve that. But the way I kind of play is I don't know. That's what it is. Kind of hard that's to what be. It is. I think that's why your composure yeah. is high. Like your composure. That's how you play. You're calm down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're gonna be so I, I could I could up that I could up that aggression um, since it's you know it's mentality. So I could up that, but. 
uh, FIFA, come on, man, 39. I don't think anybody's stat should be at 39, bro. <laughs> all God. right, all right. This is a good question. This is a good question I just thought of, and the, and the, and the viewers definitely want to know. If you could pick five, pick five of these that would you want to be your highest throughout your career, that you're aiming to be your highest throughout your career, and you want you want it to be so obvious that you're the best at these five that obviously even it reflects in the game, what five would it be? Ooh, this is kind of nice. I would definitely say short passing and long passing because I want my passing to be elite. So those two. And then I would say eventually my defensive awareness is a decent stat, but definitely up my defensive awareness because it would help with all the defensive traits, positioning, tackling, everything. And then I would say, um, this is tough, man. Cause you want to, you want to kind of get from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You want to be, an I would say, player. um, yeah, I would say, uh, as a midfielder, I would say vision, like vision, like Kevin De Bruyne, like top tier vision. And then I would say for, for me, maybe like, um, agility being really high as a midfielder you're always changing direction so having really high agility will be top tier so for me that i good. think those would be the five yeah i think for you honestly it'd be good do you know obviously you know leon goretzka from Bayern. he was one of the first players to have 80 on like all of his core stats on his card above 80 yeah, exactly like defense yeah, yeah. pace everything above 80 so it's just that's a perfect all-around player yeah, yeah and then his the traits goal. before we move on traits long passer and playmaker so it's not bad. It's kind not of too nice. Bad. Playmaker, I like that. Okay. Not a bad card, honestly. If y'all are looking for a, a game-changing midfielder on your in your squad. Well, you cut out a bit. A, What'd you say? What'd you say? If you I said it's a good card, you know, if you're looking for a game-changing midfielder in your in your ultimate team that's a bronze, I mean, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. If you have your SBC, all bronze cards get me and to in your ultimate team. And just go for it. So before we move on, overall rating, 63 this year, next year, what are we aiming for? Next year, I'm not sure about ratings if even, but I'm just aiming for a silver card. Silver Whatever. card. Okay, I like that. That's yeah, how I, I don't say. know what the numbers are, but 65 silver is silver, card. I think. Okay, then 65 are up. Perfect. Perfect. Go Cup Tanner. And then me. Oh, this is not me. <laughs> <laughs> this is me um 64 i got blessed i got that's blessed the first year that's a nice card bro that is a nice card uh i think i'm interested I, to see this i've never seen this let's do it four star week foot what are you saying about that i'm saying that's kind of i say that's straight like you got a good finish where you're where you're left yeah but i got uh, a finish from my mark. but honestly I, I respect it because, you know, one thing I'm lacking in my weak foot, I have a really good weak foot with my long balls, but you can give long balls with both feet very well. So I respect the four-star weak foot under your five-star weak foot for sure. Three-star nice. skill moves. Also not the best skiller, but actually I've actually um, gotten a lot better at that recently. So, um, you know, it's decent. Work rate high. I think I think we can all say that my work rate is pretty high. Facts. So I'd say that that's, that's, that's valid. Wait, 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 wait. What are they saying here about the real face? Oh, where it's like, you know how they scan your face in the game? Oh, okay, okay. And so my face isn't scanning yeah, yeah. that. that. That's the goal in the next couple of years. I want, I want my face in this game. It deserves to be in this game. Me and Tan. Facts. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the, to the beautiful stats. Wow. It's not a bad card, you know. I mean... How is your goalkeeping diving better than mine? For real, though. <laughs> no, that was Come disrespectful. On. But the handling, you got to look at the handling. It's worse than yours. It's five. And you had yeah, six. facts, facts. So, I mean. Defending, These stats are I mean, nice, though, for a four. These are nice. I feel, I mean, I feel like they're kind of disrespecting my defending, though. I, I think um, my defending, yeah. honestly, as a forward is pretty good. You know, the pressure. Defensive awareness, okay, but standing tackle, sliding tackle, you know how I'd get into it in training. Like, sliding tackle is, should be at least, like, a 90. Yeah, your sliding tackle <laughs> needs to go up for sure out of all those. Out of those three, your sliding tackle for sure needs to go up. But let's look 
honestly, okay, yeah, what what you know what calls the attention is the all the green and like the movement. But as a as a well, my car is a striker slash center forward slash cam. So you know, finishing short passing and volleys is is pretty disappointing in my opinion. I mean, I think a sixty five finishing for me. You know, you see you see the, both of the goals on the weekend were pretty composed. Pretty good finish yeah. and 65. I mean, it's okay. You know, yeah, yeah there's no hard feelings, but you know, I think I deserve a, a team of the week here shortly. So, um, what are you just, saying about the um, the heading accuracy? You saying that's that's fair? Or are you saying that's that's kind of out of there? Heading accuracy, I'll say it's not fair. I think I'm accurate with my head, but if you're just saying heading in general, okay, I'll I'll allow it because I'm not the tallest, but but shout out. Uh, <clears throat> EPT got me working a while ago on my agility and stuff like that. So I got the hops. Me and Tang got the hops, but um, I, I, I won't complain too much about the heading accuracy, you know? But um, Facts. I think it could definitely go better. Dribbling 71, that's pretty high. I, I respect that. Long passing 44. I mean, compared to, compared to Tan, I mean, it's not as good as Tanner's. Obviously, I'm not a midfielder, but I think it's still a bit disrespectful to hey, what's going on. You know, yeah, I mean, I think you just don't ever hit long passes though, like for real though, true, because like you're true. always either coming back to the ball or turning and playing forward, but it's not like you're wide and hitting the ball through. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It, it is interesting, you know, yeah. Obviously, you know, I'm not to bring uh Judd into this because he's not here, but what do you think his long passing would be if you, if you had a FIFA card? I think at this point, if Judd had a FIFA card, they just wouldn't even type long passing, like they just <laughs> leave it out, you know, like it's it's not even they do all the stats except for like. They wouldn't want to disrespect him with like the five of GK handling, you know? They yeah. And then the face, the, the, the real face thing too. Like they wouldn't even type that either. Like they would never put his face at FIFA, you know, like they wouldn't even put an image of him. Like you got an image. I got an image. They wouldn't even do that. Just I agree with that. I agree with that. But uh, Moving on to the movement. I think this, this is the high part of my, of my car. Um, acceleration, 84, 76 sprint speed, 80 agility, 75 balance. I think. That's I mean that's pretty that's pretty hype, not gonna lie. That's pretty hype. That's pretty hype. So actually when I posted my FIFA card on Snapchat, shout out Chris Richards. So I had the 80. So on the actual card, I had the 80 pace. And he was like, he wasn't hating, but uh he goes, 80 pace. Cause I think I had higher than him. And I was like, hey, that's crazy. I was like, hey, I don't make the rules. But he was like, no, nah, you fast, you're fast. But he was like, I don't know if you're faster than me. And I was like, I don't know. I don't remember how fast Chris is. I really don't. I don't know. But I guess I guess we could we'll we'll see shit Chris we can uh we can race when we both get back to Dallas but um also crazy, shot Kevin Woody yeah, Kevin Woody was mad hating also he was like mm, eighty pace I was like boy you you're so fat you just be rolling down the field boy the only time <laughs> he's fast is better. when there's pizza on the other side of the field <laughs> <laughs> but no nah, I mean it is it is kind of crazy to look at your card and see like the difference difference from like your highest numbers to like your lower numbers because like you're 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 an attacking player so they just like kind of lower your other numbers even though like you know you could be good at those things they just lower it and then they put your like your your actual good attributes like at a right number you know what i mean yeah if that makes any sense i don't know yeah it's and, and like compared to you as a midfielder it's like you're more all around in general like yeah, your yeah. stats are all kind of the same yeah yeah it makes sense shot power 62 i mean it's okay i guess um could be better stamina 74 i think i can agree with that i think we both know that i, I run quite a bit um yeah. strength 66 yeah i mean i can definitely work on my strength for sure but i'm not weak i think uh, we, we both know i'm not a weak player long shot 60 yeah. i mean as a striker i'm not shooting yeah. from distance that that much but um i think we can definitely get that up and then mentality 47 aggression that's the one that, that that's the one that you know i think um uh, we can both agree. That's probably the least accurate one out there. Yeah. Aggression. Come on. I think I think we need a 99 aggression Hall of Fame menace card, uh, Johan Gomez card, because, <laughs> I mean, if we just had a compilation of Johan Gomez Hall of Fame menace to society moments, it'd be quite the compilation. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, but 60 positioning, 60 vision. I mean, like you said, pos positioning, I guess, as a striker, as a center forward, I guess you, it can be interpreted different ways in terms of movement and what it may, and whatever it may be. But I'm okay with that. Composure, I think composure should be higher. I mean, at least like a 70. 
But other than that, I'm pretty happy. Traits, flair, speed dribbler. And before we move on, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna give you my five that I want to be known for in my card. I honestly, to be fair, my highest is my obviously my pace. I don't care about that. I really don't. Obviously, like it's a good card to have if you're like playing FIFA Ultimate Team, you just pace everyone, right? But facts, yeah. I want to be known for I want to have my finishing the highest. Um my stamina the highest, my aggression, my dribbling. And you know, just you know, just for just for kicks, I will say acceleration actually, because as a striker, I guess you do need to be quick. So they kind of what are you saying about anything else? What are you saying about the reactions though? Yeah, 57 reactions. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, I just think they decided to disrespect me a little bit after they were like, you know, they oh maybe overhyped me. <laughs> they overhyped the other the like the acceleration. Okay, 84. I really respect that. Thank you. And then the 57, though, you know, I think they might they might have gotten the numbers wrong there. I think they switched the numbers because it should be a 75. But well, I um, mean, what is I don't understand what reaction is either. Like just like, like how can it be so, how can that be so low compared to your other numbers? Like if agility is 80, bro, what is your brain just not connected to your legs or like what? You're just a 57 that, reaction, that, like you can't see stuff? That must be what it is. That must be yeah, what it is. My player in the game just doesn't react. It takes him like three seconds <laughs> you, to react to a lost ball. All the, the players game. are thinking the game's lagging, but it's just your reaction. <laughs> it's so low. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Instead of getting back on defense, my player just standing there watching the play, and then he runs back like five, five seconds later. So, I mean... Uh, I think that's what EA thinks of, that I do in real life. But shout out EA, man. If y'all want to sponsor Jump Chat, hey, we're not opposed to it. I think uh, we're both up and coming players. But hey, I mean, inform cards would not be bad right now for both of us. I think we're both informed. So that's facts. Who, whoever the EA rep is for the United States, hey, that's all I'm going to say. But um, that was fun. That was really fun. We got to take advantage of things that, you know, not everyone has. You know, for me, Facts. Obviously, for both of us, I, I don't think – I think we're happy to be in the game. Obviously, we dream of being some of the highest-rated players in the game, which I think will happen eventually. But for me personally, just being able to be in the game is is absolutely unreal. Uh, I don't know how much you play FIFA. I, I play FIFA a decent amount um, growing up especially. I, I don't play FIFA. Yeah. I, I but, um, but, yeah, um, anything else before you do the outro? No, nah, man, I think uh... – it was fun looking at the cards. Obviously, I, I don't play FIFA a bunch, so I don't get to see these cards. Like, I didn't even see my card last year, really. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's uh nice to, like, see that, you know, that you're doing something, that you're in a game that is, uh you know, people play it every day. Obviously, we're bottom tier in the game, but, you know, somebody might pack us every once in a while, you know. You never know. And they, you know, they put eyes on us, and it it's kind of nice. So, it's definitely a privilege being in a game. It's an honor. So, we're, we're both – uh really pleased to for, with our cards i mean you can't be mad you're in the game you're not a you're not a 59 so we're doing well you know so <laughs> that's all i gotta say hey exactly before we before i do the outro real quick do you want to show them the sign that we got coming that tanner ordered man that we got coming you just you gotta know, set it up it's just it's just a little something you know we on air uh, the that's glare's a little crazy bad. i think i think yeah, anyone who's watching air. this who's not subscribed because of this you need to subscribe right now subscribe right now like it and share it with your friends because we're going up. We have new ideas coming. We got a lot coming, you know. It's it's just the beginning, you know. It's just the beginning. I do want to, do, I do want to talk about it a little bit though, because you you we both had some pretty good ideas. Now we have Justin back in the mix. Obviously, he's not always going to be recording, but he can provide ideas and stuff for content. So I mean, we have kind of like some ideas for maybe mini vlogs, stuff like that, day in the life. I know you guys are interested in what Tanner does day to day. What I do day to day, what a, what a life, what a day in the life of a D1 player is maybe also. So, you know, we have some good ideas coming. So we got a, uh, like John said, we got a, we got a bunch of things coming day in the lives, different things, but uh, we also still got the merch from last year and we're planning on doing another drop soon. Um, maybe next the beginning of next year, 2022 drop, but uh, we still got merch available on the site. Um, Chum chat. Shop chum chat.com. Shop chum chat.com. So go check it out. Um, shopchumchat.com you know we still got a few items left that that um didn't uh finish out last year so if you're lucky you might be able to cop one but uh yeah just go on the site shopchumchat.com and and you might find something for for christmas you know a little gift to the to the missus or or whatever so 
Go check it out. Exactly. For Christmas. And we need to say this. We obviously see everyone who buys the merch and supports us. If you buy the merch for the potential giveaways that we have coming soon, which are going to be great. It's not some, it's not going to be, we're not going to be giving away some rinky dig kind of, kind of gift. No, it's going to be top tier things. I promise you that. So for the giveaways, people who buy the merch will definitely be more likely to win these potential giveaways. Um, but yeah, new ideas, new things coming. We're super excited again. Shout out to our editor, Anthony. Oh, we have an, a quick, another advertisement before we sign off. If you, if you're looking for a gift for the missus, like Tanner said, for your, for your daughter, for even for your son, Lightbox Diamonds. They're lightning, Lightbox lab-grown diamonds. And they're the brightest gift of the year. So Lightbox Diamonds, never a dull moment. Go check them out. We don't have a code for you guys, but go check them out. Um, shout out to them sponsoring the video also. And um, before, we, before we do a quick outro, I mean, we just want to thank you guys again for tuning in. It means the world to us. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Like it up. Do whatever you need to do. And this episode was presented by BET Online. Right there, we're going to pop up Judson's Picks of the Week. And um, I don't know, me and Tanner weren't that good at, at uh, betting on things last time, but I think Judson might be a little bit better. So don't take our word for it. But if y'all want to put in y'all's picks, take a look at Judson's Picks of the Week. And um, that's it for us, you guys. Thank you so much for the constant support. And um, go find your own success. Deuces. Peace.